What up, family? Gavin Lewis is reporting Minute Dash 20 Married and Leaves. It's going to be a short video. Today is February the 8th, Moon Monday in my city of Chicago. I mean, kiss my ass, motherfucker, for real. Real fucking tote. Everybody knows I'm the originator of rap. I'm your Ghetto News Reporter. I coined that term, Ghetto News Reporter. I should get millions of billions of dollars just for that term alone. That uh, that 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 saying alone or that name. You understand what I'm saying? They have since tried to copy it by coming up with Ghetto Radio. You understand? You know, they just want to use foundational Native Americans up. This is going out to all the smart ones out there. You know, I know you may not think, you know, much of me and stuff, but I wasn't an enemy. And if you grew up with me and rappers and things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? Me being an originator of rap and you trolled me thinking, you know, you threw me under the bus that everything would be peachy keen or whatever. And they would support you. No, if they ain't supporting me, they wasn't going to support you no matter how smart you are. You understand what I'm saying? They don't like us. I keep trying to tell you all. This video I'm going to name, um, some service work is free. Mom, but reparation isn't some service work is free but reparation isn't you know i've been abused ever since a baby or whatever and stuff taken advantage of you know pretty much left for dead as you can see my face is you know you know has been you know has been worked on a little bit you understand what i'm saying the scar right there so-called police and stuff for some reason people come out Oh, come from different continents, Africa, Europe, you know, um, you know, Paris, France, all around the world, whatever and stuff, you know, to shit on Native Americans who made the money already. I am, um, I'll be 54 years old, May 25th, 1967 is when I was born and stuff. I have yet to, uh, uh, accumulate anything of far as wealth you understand what i'm saying people came in and out of my life family i'm sure exists but have you know singled me out to die because they you know was greedy and decided to you know stick with the the losers i guess because in my room you understand what i'm saying where i met him in chicago 6210 south kimbark avenue chicago Illinois, 60637 apartment 308 you understand what I'm saying? It reminds me of, you know, when um, the movie Malcolm X and West Indy Archie, you know, helped Malcolm X out and Malcolm X, you know, crossed him for the white girl and, you know, he came back to see West Indy Archie and he was all fucked up and shit. That's how they want me to be. And West Indy Archie said, I wasn't going to kill you, Red, because that's what he used to call him, Red. And, um, but it was about my reputation. Fuck that. It's about more than my reputation. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. Look, it's about that money, property, and prestige, and over the in the in the zillions of dollars. I would I would like to go as far as say zillions of dollars, not only in cash but oil. You know, gold, silver, diamonds, pearls. You know, all the you know uranium, platinum. You understand what I'm saying? All that real, real bitcoins now. You understand what I'm saying? But not only that, you know, just my spirituality has been pimp. You understand what I'm saying? And I told them if I don't give them anything else, I'm giving the truth, but it's going to come with a bullet and a price on their head and stuff for real because, you know, I can afford it, right? So why are you trying to kill me? I guess I'm trying to kill you too. A viewer, if it apply, that means I'm talking to you. If don't, in AA, they say if it don't apply, let it fly. Now, you know, Yes, I'm a girl that, you know, kind of looks masculine or whatever, but they, my haters know, you know, why I look like this because of them taking advantage of me as a baby and, you know, uh, having me work like a Hebrew slave. Matter of fact, the um, Bible scripture today is Hebrew chapter 10, chapter 11, and chapter 12. And, you know, they talk about property and, you know, things of that nature. It was always money, property, and prestige with these gold-digging motherfuckers from around the world coming into my, you know, world, America, and, you know, shitting on my people and just kind of working us to death and stuff, and if we don't work, then, you know, they alienate, alienate us, blackball us, and, you know, it's the same old song, I mean, Michael Jackson, Prince, you know, Jimi Hendrix, and then some people play dead, take the money and run, but out of sight, out of mind, right? 
they might end up dead anyway. I mean, look what they did to David Ruffin from the Temptations and stuff. They gave him a briefcase full of money. Next thing you know, he was in the um, moor with a toe tag um, title, you know, John Doe. Like nobody knew who he was or whatever and stuff. And he did not have the money with him. So either way it goes, they just use us for our, you know, gifts that our higher power gives us and stuff. And exploit us and um, pretty much just leave us, you know, talking to ourselves, I guess. But luckily for me, I have this... Um, this this video and I'm sure once you know I died that they you know plan on deleting everything and taking everything like they have been taking and stuff you know it's funny I worked 47 years and stuff to get nowhere fast I've never had a new car I've never you know had a real family I never had real friends I had the illusion of inclusion but you know as soon as you know I woke up all the way for real they disappeared like uh precipitation is that what it call it what's what you call it when um you blow your breath on the window, precipitation or whatever. Yeah, excuse my, you know, ignorance sometimes, you know. But not only that, I have a lot on my mind. If you have gone through what I've gone through, you know, you know, police brutality, random acts of violence towards, you know, gangbangers sent my way to, you know, harass me on a regular, um, you know, false imprisonment, you know, raped by five guys as a little girl, taking advantage of for my mind and you know all the goods that i've created worked like 10 men i've come up with at least since 2008 after i got railroaded may 31st 2008 for the so-called disarming the police officer something i did not do you know i've come up with at least shit maybe five jobs i have done and stuff for real you know what i'm saying you'll get a news report i've designed the shoes to make them the rainbow colors and they exploited me from that you understand what i'm saying uh writing on shoes and stuff they exploited me for that um the term chicago the name chicago i spell s-h-e-c-a-r-g-o they really want to change chicago and name it that but then again i'm dealing with a bunch of mis a uh, 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 male chauvinist so they don't want to name anything girls they hate ladies and stuff and even in the bible they would take out sisters they would say brethren or brothers but most times in my bible it says uh brothers and sisters you understand what i'm saying so when they don't teach you right they definitely ain't gonna treat you right ladies and this being so-called black history month which ain't nothing but white history month and stuff that's why the letters is white and you see the, the ships and shit, you understand what I'm saying? They come over to the other people's land, invade them, and just leave them like, you know, this, this is really fucking fucked up. I guess they thought they was going to get some kind of enjoyment from my story and stuff, but my higher power been blessing me so much that I feel like I need to do another scripture for the for you, the viewer. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Let's see. Uh-oh. Look at what I got here. Let's see. I got 13. Nehemiah chapter 13. See, it all started with my stepson, Mario Durrell Evans, whose birthday is November the 13th. You understand what I'm saying? Well, it didn't really start, but all my problems really came because of his badass and his conscience and his mother, the Italian stallion and banker, Donna Marie Evans. And, you know, she probably didn't change her name and he. He probably changed his sex, you understand know what I'm saying? Because that's what they're doing now to keep the money. They're changing from boys to girls and stuff, you understand know what I'm saying? But they don't like me, a real girl, born this way. You understand know what I'm saying? Imagine that. But they like my sex long enough to get that money. And they might not be cutting off their private parts. They're just probably getting breasts and, you know, hormones and, you know. You understand know what I'm saying? The trick of the devil and stuff. Yeah, but his birthday... You know, it's November the 13th. And, you know, while I was going through hell in 1995, after I gave my, um, you know, child abuse story again to Oprah Winfrey, who was once a, you know, uh, television personality, you know what I'm saying? They used to try to call her the queen of, you know, television or whatever. But when she tore down that, that, that kingdom or queendom of hers in Chicago, where she used to work at and, you know, Screw all her, you know, ignorance, I guess, and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? And because of me, you know, giving me, giving her my um truce in 1984 at the age of 17, hoping one day she'll reach back. You understand what I'm saying? 
and help this once child abuse victim out, I end up becoming more and more of a victim and stuff, you know, thanks to Oprah Winfrey and stuff. I'm pretty sure y'all know who she is, but they don't want her name out and about either. So, you know, they don't like neither one of us. And I knew it would end up like that. You understand what I'm saying? So Nehemiah chapter 13, you know, 13 and 31 is a, um, one of them numbers. Like they said that, you know, the uh, Kansas City Chiefs and the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you know, won 31 to 9. You know, either 31 or 13 is going to always be a problem and stuff. So when them numbers pop up, you know, they're not a good number and stuff. And had I known what I know now, I would have never um, took the time out of my busy schedule in 1995 while I was writing my book, A War to the State Slash Coming Out Hard. You understand what I'm saying? That pertain to my child abuse, you know, life and, you know, me growing up without parents and, you know, school and things of that nature or whatever, but becoming, you know, the originator of rap. If I would have known that Mario Durrell Evans was going to throw me under the bus and stuff to, you know, whatever, save his ass or whatever and stuff, and his mother, you know, being a banker and a real estate agent and throwing in my ass or whatever, I would have never taken time out of my busy schedule to go buy him a, a, a birthday card, for real, for real. You understand what I'm saying? I didn't even really have the means back then, and I was going through a whole lot of problems myself, but that's what fuck boys do. They take advantage of you, and they forget where they come from, and then, you know, when they think about it, when they get older, they be like, damn, I should have stuck with her and stuff, but, you know, they hate losing to girls, and... I don't care because this is definitely chapter 13 and you are a thorn in my ass. See, he he threw up, he, he grew up Mario Durrell Evans, you know, Catholic. You understand what I'm saying? But I guarantee you it was my money, you know, that paid for it and everything else he was going through because his mother tapped me on the shoulder, which means if my people left me some money and they knew the value that I, you know, am worth, you understand what I'm saying? At least a zillion dollars without my parents' help. And I don't even know who they are. My, my father isn't on my birth certificate. And my mother, Mary Lee Wright, did not have the same last name as myself. So therefore, you know, she very well may not be my mother. But then again, maybe she was and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? But I pretty much grew myself up. And that's the honest to God's truth. With the determination and uh, perseverance. And for me to get nothing out the deal makes me wish wish, you know I'm saying, I had a gun sometimes so I could just, you know, go on the fucking shooting spree and kill all the people that robbed me. I don't want to kill the ones that didn't rob me. I just want to get the ones who did. You understand what I'm saying? I believe, you know, in vengeance. The Bible even speak about that. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. But we're going to see what Nehemiah chapter 13 got to say. Maybe it's something good going to come out of all this. And that's why I try to maintain a, a, a sense of normalcy, even through the hypocrisy and the um, disrespect, blatant disrespect that I get on a normal, I call it a normal day. You understand what I'm saying? For real, a normal day is, is blatant disrespect. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk, even in this trap building where I'm at, oh, if I could just be a fly on the wall in some of these motherfuckers got them apartments and shit and the way they disrespect me behind closed doors, but when they see me, you know, they pop up like a jack in the box, like I owe him something. Ain't that a bitch? I don't know what's wrong with these motherfuckers, but I know what ain't going to be wrong with me. I ain't losing my mind over their ass and shit. So, viewer, if you are a real Mary McMurray, you see me out there for real, for real, you understand what I'm saying? Not bothering somebody and somebody bothering me, at least say, leave that girl alone. Give her a break because I sure deserve it. And that's the honest guy's truth. So, you know, I had to do this one for the viewer. And uh, I guess nosy people too and shit. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not going to be doing these videos for long. I get nothing out of them. I spend my heart on money on these um, on, 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 on this phone bill that they trying to suck me dry out of. You know, and I get no phone calls, no friends, and no appreciation. So, therefore, and no thank you. Imagine that. And the ones they do, they be facetious with it and shit. Like, you know, I'm trying to do something for me, shit. I need somebody to do something for me for once. And that's the honest of God's truth. And that's why my higher power keep looking out for me. And I don't worry about you thieving ass motherfuckers trying to kill me. You understand what I'm saying? That's the honest of God's truth. And with that, Mario Durrell Evans, you still alive? Give me a call. one 
708-574-8177. Peace.